Good morning. It's about 100 degrees outside. Just kidding. It's not quite that warm, but it feels that warm. We are leaving Sweet Pea Cove. We've had a fantastic time. Great time hanging out with our friends, the neighborhood. We are heading to Santa Rosalia today and uh, we are going to reprovision and then we're heading north as the winds are finally changing. It is four something in the morning. I'm gonna say we just had the worst night we've ever had at Anchorage. We had to sleep sideways on our bed to not fall off the bed because we had, we were sideways to the rollers all night long. And these were massive, massive rollers. That was a really long night. Well, what do you think? Well, tomorrow is not nearly as good as I thought it was going to be. We got one, one good day of wind. Yes. We need to get out far, or we'll get stuck. Some dead wind, two mile an hour crap. We should get out of here and get as far as we can, then maybe do 80 miles. Okay. It's 79 degrees this morning at 4:30 a.m. It'll be 89 as a high. And that's what summer is in Mexico. There's very little difference between the high and the low. And that's when it starts getting pretty tough to survive. Because <laughs> there's no break from the heat. Just a little after 5 a.m. and we've pulled up the anchor. We've got two sails out. And uh, we're gonna head out, not quite the middle of Sea of Cortez here, but we're headed out towards the middle because that's where the wind is gonna be. Hopefully, we will make it 78 nautical miles today, which is a really big day and our biggest day yet. Uh, and we can make it to San Francisco, I think is how you say that. If not, we're headed for Trinidad. And that's only like 40 something nautical miles. Anyway, big day ahead. Goodbye, Santa Rosalia. It's been, uh, it's been real, real interesting. Sunrise coming up over there. Wow. Isn't that pretty? Finally got into some eight knot winds. So we're gonna put the jib out and see if we can't sail her. Look at all of us. One, two, three, four, five boats, including us, all enjoying the south wind. Seven knots, 13 knots of wind. We are heading a little off track here. You can see this is our destination, but uh, it's worth it to get the wind in our sails. Living the dream. Pretty rough sail today. Rolling all over the place. We uh, anticipated doing about 85 miles today because we thought we had some really great wind just really didn't materialize like we thought. And so uh, about two hours into our trip, three hours into our trip, we were making a, a pretty abrupt uh, turn to port so that we can go into uh, a bay here called Trinidad. Uh, uh, Punta Trinidad, uh, which is an anchorage there that looks pretty good. We got about another 15, nope, 17 miles to go. <laughs> But the wind is right on our tail as we head there. And these seas are just ridiculous. And we only got 9.2 knots of wind. So the mast moves back and forth 20 feet one way, 20 feet the other way. And so because there's not enough wind to keep the sail tight, it's really sloppy. Oh, we are rocking and rolling, oh, oh. let me tell you. Oh my. Right now we're doing just a little bit of motoring so that we can get upwind and then, uh, then turn to port again to bring in the last uh, the last dozen miles to our anchorage. So we're cheating a little bit right now. We got a couple of sails out. We got the jib and the mizzen. Cool. Thanks for the update, Captain. Chad, Chad, Whoa. Is 
our new lure. Oh, uh -huh, lure. You put this out what? Three minutes ago? Just about. Jeez. Well, I hope it's mahi. Yeah, I just watched a little mahi chasing after a little fish jumping out of the water. So I said, okay, I'll put this in. I did. Bam. Two or three minutes later, bang. Oh, what was that? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, is that mahi? Please be mahi. Please be mahi. Oh, looks like a mahi. Oh, look how pretty! Oh, he's mad now. Oh, baby. Oh. Oh, he's a fighter. Oh, this is so exciting. We're having mahi for dinner. Look how pretty it is. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, I love Baja Jig. I gotta, I gotta tag him on Facebook. Oh my God. Oh. The net, okay. Oh wow! Woo! That is a gorgeous specimen. Wow! I cannot believe we got a mahi. Wow! Oh, look at that! Wow! Smile big! Oh wow! That's so. So, same lure, six minutes later. Looking good. Right on. Woo! Dinner's gonna be good tonight. These rollers are uh, making it an unpleasant downwind sail, which is very unfortunate. Yesterday and today we have a buddy boat. This is Michael on Alamar and uh, we are headed for the same Anchorage as we were yesterday together, which is kind of fun having someone else along for the ride. So we made it to Isla San Francisquito and we were swarmed by bees like we have never been swarmed before. Oh, I heard that one. I don't think we'll be staying long. Oh, got it. Home run. <laughs> It was something out of a nightmare, actually. So we stayed the one night, because it was a long day. And uh, of course, bees leave as soon as the sun sets anyway. So we slept fine, but oh my gosh. Again this morning, first thing, swarmed. Hundreds and hundreds of bees, and they were kind of aggressive. It was, I mean, I know they're desperate for water, but anyway, so we came around the corner about couple miles away to Calais Mujeres, which is Women's Cove, something like that. Anyway, it's beautiful, but fair warning, it's known for its coyotes. In fact, we saw a few just this morning at the uh, other anchorage. And here we are at the beach. Finally, the dogs had to run for the first time in ages, and uh, there are coyote prints everywhere, so we have to keep a close eye on them but it's gorgeous here. The bee population is sparse, still active, but sparse. And we are surrounded with wildlife. On the way over, we saw sea turtles, sea lions, and hundreds of sea rays. The water is beautiful. It's warm, but not too hot. And uh, life is good.
Michael's joining us for dinner tonight. Excellent. How are you? Wow. What a beautiful morning. But we have a problem on this beautiful morning. We are sitting at zero feet below the keel. We did not plan the extreme low tides north Baja very well. And uh, we are sitting on the bottom. She is rocking back and forth as she just sits there on the bottom. Thankfully, this is the lowest of the tide for the day. We just have to wait for her to come up a bit so that we can get out of here. But the next big problem is that the decks are wet. All of them, everything is drenched. And we've been having a major bee problem. So the bee scouts are already out. It's just a little after 5 a.m. and we are gonna be inundated with bees. Thank God we are on uh, Sandy Bottom. We would be in real bad trouble if this was uh, rocky. Strange looking day today. The, you can see the clouds are just really low. Can't even see the sun. There's a couple of really huge islands right in front of us and you cannot see them at all. We are in a total cloud. See the rainbow? Beautiful. is working and this is us and there's some something up there and we don't know what it is it's not land so it's got to be a boat and since we can't see anything in this foggy day very happy to have radar Come with it. Come with it. 16 and a half knots of wind and we're going about six knots look at that the only sail we have up is the jib Traveled 40 nautical miles today. The first 32 miles was uh, zero wind. So we motored this whole time until eight, eight nautical miles from our destination and the wind finally kicks up and it's perfect. Great way to end our travel day. Beautiful mountains here. Good night, Playa Las Andamas. Thank you for your breathtaking views. The bee infestation that we have been experiencing these last, I don't know, five, four, five days has been uh, downright terrifying, actually. I've never seen a swarm like this before. I've never seen, um, I, there's just, they're desperate for water and they're, they're gonna do everything they can to get it. And uh, we can't keep them off. We can't, we can't. We have literally moved three times because they have chased us out of the anchorage. This is a huge warning to anyone who's considering a boat, at least in the Sea of Cortez. Be prepared. Be very, very prepared. I mean, I feel like we might be stuck in this boat down here until tonight. Oh, they're coming in. We've had to shut all of the hatches and we're sitting in a hot box. We've never had to do that before. Usually they just avoid the hatches. I don't know why it's always been okay until now and they're swarming everywhere, trying desperate to get in. And it's so hot, it's so hot in here. We have stooped to taping our hatches because there's gaps and they will find a way in. Yeah, great. <laughs> this have, is great. Having fun yet? We're trapped inside of our boat. We can't even get out. Uh -uh. 
And uh, do not open that door. There's about uh, how many bees would you say? I don't know. Let's go look at it. Uh, here, you have the phone and you record it. <gasps> Yikes! Oh gosh. Okay, quickly shut it. Oh. 5 a.m. departure this morning. We are so tired of dealing with the bees. Oh my gosh, we've been stung I think uh, eight times between the two of us in the last couple of days. Uh, I got, I stepped on one, bottom of the foot. I cannot remember the last time I was in that much pain. Anyway, they swell up like balloons, but uh, it only lasts a few days. So we are looking forward to moving north. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful morning. Not a breath of wind. Okay, 2.4 knots of wind. We got two sails out anyway, just in case we catch some wind. We only have an, about an eight nautical mile trip ahead of us this morning. We're just hoping we're close enough to Bay of LA to not be swarmed with bees. That's the hope. They're all around us. Oh my gosh. El Pascador, we have arrived. It's beautiful. So far, no bees. Praying, praying that we don't have any, that we see not a single bee this, this day. Oh, I can't wait to go explore.